The authorities want them to go home, but this is quite simply not an option for the tens of thousands of people who sought refuge at Bongi Airport five months ago. Although life here is tough, the continuing violence in some parts of Bongi means it's far too dangerous to go back to the city. We escape from the shooting and the sound of gunfire. There are killings every day, and when it gets dark, people even get their throats cut. We came here for our security, so although we've got nothing, at least we're not in danger. If they want us to leave, they've got to make sure it's safe. Heavy fighting at the end of May brought Bongi to a standstill. MSF's teams weren't able to get to the airport for several days, making it very difficult to assist the refugees in Mpoku. The rainy season has now begun, and malaria is affecting under five-year-olds particularly badly. Another consequence of the rain are the camp's makeshift shelters that are now even more inadequate than before. It rains really hard. There's nothing to keep the tap on, so we don't sleep when it rains during the night. We spend all night awake. The MSF teams have provided 90,000 consultations in this camp since the beginning of the year. A third were related to malaria. This high number of consultations is also due to the many children suffering from malnutrition. There has been only one food distribution in Mpoku since last December. <laughs>